I've always got this um, feedback from people um, who've, who've said I'm, I'm against SEO, SEOs using AI tools, um, and I'm against AI writing tools. Uh, not the case because I think AI ha is the future for many things, including um, you know some doing SEO. Uh, but AI can do everything, and if you're if you're relying solely on AI to tell you um, you know what keywords to target or you know how to target them or how to create your a site map if you're entirely relying on ai um, your website and everything else related to it is gonna look exactly like everybody else's so the only barrier to entry to using ai is just paying the fee um, and most people can afford to pay 249 or 50 dollars or even 500 dollars for that matter so even though i use seo tools and I use AI SEO tools as part of my workflow, I'm not entirely relying on it because I am at, at, the, at, 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 the, at the end of the day, I am an SEO person um, and I know how to do SEO and these tools are just used to speed up the process and also to make sure that I'm covering all my bases. It's just like having a, a, a checklist of sorts when I'm doing SEO in the old days, I, I used to have a checklist. I still have a checklist of all the steps I need to run through when I'm doing SEO. So the most frequently used SEO tools um, tools for to which I've been, you know, renewing their subscription for the past three months. I've used these tools. I found these tools to be highly efficient and relevant uh, to doing SEO, making my life a lot easier. And I think a lot of people who do their own SEO will find these tools to be um, highly re reliable and at least handle a, a lot of the heavy lifting. So as long as they understand the the fundamentals of SEO and the fundamentals of how these tools work, I'll not go into the, that into this video, but I'll go into the three tools that I've used. Um, successfully and I keep using these tools and I think you should invest in these tools personally I'm not getting an affiliate commission there are no affiliates links um, so you can you know I, I, I'm under no obligation to uh, promote these tools it's just that these are tools that I use so uh, the first tool I just want to talk about is um, all AI um, and I think this is one of the one of the most efficient and most effective SEO quick SEO tools um, because it, it automates a lot of the processes that, um, a lot of the basic processes at least that we would use when doing SEO in the old days. Um, and all you need to do is you just need to click on a, uh, you know, if you, if this works, I mean, regardless if you have a WordPress website or if you have a, an HTML site or using any other CMS, this thing works. All you need to do is, is to add a JavaScript uh, snippet um, for self-optimizing SEO, just go ahead. Um, the tool makes it very easy. You just walk through it. You go ahead, you click on, uh, copy the, the code. It's a lot like uh, adding a Google Webmaster um, tools to your website. Just go ahead and click, uh, copy and paste the code, um, paste it into your website, and um, you're good to go. And then what the tool does, it, it, it makes these recommendations. So as you can see here, it says add canonical URL tags. Um, you've got, you also can add external link targets and optimize for keywords. And this gives you recommendations based on after it has scanned your website. It really takes a lot of the basic hard work that goes into optimizing a website. Um, and if you have a new website, this is the first, this is the first thing you should do with it. And you should um, explore this tool. There's a lot more to this tool than what I'm telling you, but this is a good primer of sorts. So this is where you can um, start to explore this tool. The only drawback with this tool, it is, it's, it's, it's expensive. It's at 249 It's at least one of the more expensive tools uh, out there. And there are alternatives, but you'll then have to use multiple tools. Um, if you can't afford the tool, you know, I've got loads of videos, a lot of which talk about how to do a lot of what this tool is automating, um, and you can do this manually. Okay, so um, the other tool is DIB. It's D-I-I-B DIB. Um, and it's, I think, another very good tool. It does have a few, um, shortfalls and there are places where this tool, tool can improve um, but for the price which is um, zero dollars to start with your first month and then it's 79 seven ninety nine per month um, to start with i think this is a this is an excellent tool um, what it does it's, it, it it does a lot of what um, the previous tool alley ai does but it uh, does a little more and it does a little less um, so let's run real quick to the feature so it will 
for starters, um, in terms of SEO, it helps you track uh, keywords, um, and then also helps to monitor your competition's rankings and, ch and, how, and how that has changed. And this is important because you need to know how well your competition is doing, and even if your competition is doing SEO, the other thing it does, it, 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 it enhances your social media uh, campaigns, so you, you, you can see if your audience is engaging with your posts, um, you can, it helps you become more active with your followers and maintain a regular social media calendar. So you can make a bunch of posts, put it there, and this automatically goes ahead and posts it. Other tools do the same thing, but this one is an all-in-one tool and also it's a lot cheaper than having four or five different tools doing it. The other thing this tool does and the feature that I like is the benchmarking feature. So every website is unique, but it still is helpful to see how you are performing versus uh, similar websites. So if your bounce rates are high, um, and you, you want to see what you know if how you, how you compare to it uh, to the competition. So you, uh, this this shows you this. Uh, you can see how your website stacks up against the competition. You can also see um, if you're if you're doing an email campaign, if your emails are being delivered. Um, it also highlights areas where you're underperforming, um, but it will not fix it for you. So you have to fix it yourself. And you can also help to track your um, progress. Um, as you know, as, as, as your SEO uh, progresses, you'll be able to see how well things are moving or if it's not moving well for that matter. Um, the other thing is the website monitoring. So it tells you if your website speed is good, if your email is are being delivered, if your rankings are changing. Um, the drawback with this is that the daily health score is not exactly very really accurate. I found that um, even though it's, uh, even though they say it, it utilizes an advanced predictive algorithm, um, <laughs> It still leaves a lot to be desired. Um, I would like to see the dashboard being more comprehensive and take into consideration things like backlinks and the quality of backlinks and the PADAs of the backlinks coming in. In addition to how well um, the, how well the content is being um, delivered um, and overall experience of the visitors on the website, I think that would be um, that would be additions to um, this tool that would make sense. Also, there are a few bugs I ran into. Um, but they have professional help at any time. Again, with the professional help, um, I've had to wait like up to 20 minutes to actually speak to a person. Um, but I think the platform is, is improving. Um, the good thing is that it, it integrates well with Vix, at Shopify, Woo, and numerous other platforms that are adding more platforms every day. Um, and I think this is a really good tool to start with. If you have a limited budget and you want to use AI for SEO, I think um, Dib is an excellent tool um, to start with. Okay, so the next tool is smartwriter.ai. I've used this tool for, while, for a while and I've, I've watched it evolve um, immensely over the past few months. Um, basically, when I do email outreach, um, this is my go-to tool because it automates a lot of the emails that I, that I need to send. It personalizes the emails. Um, so in the, in the past, I would, need, when I'm, I would do outreach, I would need to personalize each email, sometimes thousands of emails you know, personally, or I have to ask my VA to do it, which is probably like take six or seven hours for that person to do. And even then it's not, um, it would still look like a template. So what this does is you can, it, 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 it will personalize the emails um, to where it, it, it's, it's like having an AI writer, but it, it's like having an AI writer write emails. And I think this is where an AI writer can be extremely powerful because you know this can like four, well, four to five X the speed at which you generate um, emails and personalized emails. And you can send those emails out um, in you know, blistering fast speed. So my, I mean, I've used this tool and I've been able to send like six, 700 emails within one day. Uh, all of those emails were personalized and the response rate was really good because it, those emails were so well personalized. The only drawback with using this is that like any other AI tool, there are grammatical issues and there are some sentences that repeat each other. And so it, it would say one thing uh, multiple times in different ways, so you'd have to check every email. But other than that, I mean, if you're if you're um, once you once you're aware of what kind of uh, shortfalls the tool has, you can use it to um, send out mass emails. It's an extremely efficient tool. Um, however, apart from um, the the emailing feature, I also like the fact that you can send out personalized uh, LinkedIn recommendations. And so, uh, if you're looking for a job, this is something. Or if you're marketing yourself on LinkedIn. This is probably an excellent tool um, because you can reach out to many more people on LinkedIn um, and it also shows you uh, how well those people have responded and you can tweak your email strategy accordingly. Um, 
other than that, I think this is this is this is a tool that's not do, that, that does not do a lot. It does not attempt to do a lot, but it does not need to do a lot because it's very well. It's a very well built tool for deep research cold emails, um, and that is what this is built to be. Um, if you do a lot of out, outreach for link building, if you do a lot of outreach for guest posting, this is probably the tool for you. Also, it's affordable at $49 a month for the basic plan for 15 personalized lines. I think this is a pretty good deal. However, in my case, I've, I've had to go for the $299, which is a pro plan, and it, it's, it, it gets you a lot more leads and a lot more credits. Um, but if you're just starting out, uh, the basic plan is more than enough. There are some of the best ways you can use AI um, to lower the burden of doing SEO and outreach. Um, you also don't have to break the bank to do it. Uh, so guys, if, if there's an SEO tool that you use and uh, you think I've not mentioned or you think this the community will find useful, feel free to mention it in the comments below. I also do SEO for a living, so the link to my services are also in the comments below. Just fill out the form and I'll get in touch with you. Um, other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video.